How was your day, girls? <laughs> he spoke to me, and then it was just less and less, you know? If there's something you want to communicate, you best say it now. Jennifer, Joan, how would you describe your personalities? I think you might be a bad influence on each other. It might be an idea to split you up for a while. We will move the girls into special education. Why are you going to say anything? We'll get them to talk yet. Guilty or not guilty? You need to take care of yourself. At least say something. Say it now. How do you plead? They shall be institutionalized indefinitely. We want if you were telling your story, we want how would it begin? In order to write a good book, you need to feel it. You have to be inspired. Writers now. Writers now. I can't bear life without my sister. It's brought a new awakening in me. I could reach out and touch the stars. I could see the galaxy. Can't go back to the empty days before we found out. I feel as though I'm swimming in a pool. I taste the bittersweet smell of salt. It's like God gave me a chance. A chance to prove who I really am. Based on the best-selling book, The Silent Twins, the film stars Letitia Wright and Tamara Lawrence, who are with us now. How are you both today? Good to see you. Good to see you. Great, thank you. Good to see you too. Letitia, not only do you star in the film, but you're one of the producers as well. Tell us what attracted you to this true story and tell us more about the twins. What attracted me to this story was firstly, I saw a documentary on BBC about uh, the twins. I saw June Jennifer, um, June Gibbons, just speaking about her sister Jennifer, um, and that grabbed my interest. And then years later, um, the director of the film came to meet me at my play and she brought the book and she offered the part to me um, and she asked me to come alongside the journey. So I signed on to be a producer and then we went on the beautiful journey of finding Tamara to play uh, my co-star. Tamara, tell us what you knew about the twins before starting the picture. Uh, similarly, I had heard the, the folklore around them being um, these mystical twins that nobody understood. Um, I hadn't read the book, but uh, upon getting the audition, I watched the documentary and was sort of blown away by um, how misunderstood they were. And then, yeah, was lucky enough to be able to do a series of auditions that ended in um, a chemistry read with, with Letitia and then, yeah. You and Letitia are perfectly in sync as you portray the twins. How did you develop your twin language, your twin movement for the camera? We were lucky enough to have a lot of resources on our side. We worked with an amazing dialect coach and movement coach that worked to create a shared kinesphere, shared movement, and also the documentary actor. There's an amazing uh, resource for their real dialect and so um, the coach broke down their accent quite specifically so we were able to find uh, synergy in in the physical and um, vocal portrayal and then apart from that I think it was also just spending a lot of time together at the shoot and getting to know each other I think we um, we fell quite naturally into um, a sisterly rhythm I'd say. And Letitia, as one of the producers, what was the process like um, developing this private world of June and Jennifer? It was a beautiful process. We had so much support. Not only did our director understand um, the world in which we wanted to create, we wanted to create a, a, a world that showcased their creativity. You know, we wanted to put that to the forefront because the media that was um, out, the media outlets that was sharing about the stories in the 80s and the 90s was really, really not good for the twins because it just really um, made them feel weird and odd and, and it wasn't the approach that we wanted. 
And I also understood that I needed someone alongside me to help me produce as well. So Tamara's also an executive producer on the film. So we kind of teamed up together to, to make sure our voices was heard in the room, whether it's through the script, whether it's through the costumes, whether it's through just the everyday breaking down of, of, of scenes. We made sure that our voices was heard and, and, and we got to produce it together as well. So the twins, June and Jennifer, they were very misunderstood and their decision to speak only to each other really led them to being institutionalized and it's suggested that perhaps they were autistic or had Asperger's syndrome. Leticia, what does their life story tell us about how mental health is diagnosed or misdiagnosed? Yes, the twins were definitely misdiagnosed. Um, we do not have any certainty that they were diagnosed with any of those symptoms or illnesses that you just mentioned. But I do know that it's important for us as a society to make sure that we give people the time and the and the and the space to 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 communicate in a healthy way and not to jump to conclusions because. Doing that led to the twins losing 11 years of their life in a psychiatric hospital. They did not need to be there um, at all. So that was really unfortunate, and our, and our movie explores that. All right, Letitia Wright yeah. and Tamara Lawrence, we want to thank you both. You're both starring in The Silent Twins. Thanks for bringing us this remarkable film. Thank you. Thank you. From street graffiti to global galleries, the artistic evolution of Say Adams. A look at the free exhibit that just opened in Boston. That's next on CityLine.